Three absolutely incredible incantations from Elden Ring Shadow of the Erdtree. This video does contain some side boss spoilers, but I'll warn you again when we get there. The Knight's Lightning Spear summons a bolt of lightning in your hand with more bolts summoned on each side. To get this, you'll need to go to the Scorpion River Catacombs. I'll be starting at the Ravine North Grace, but if you haven't even been to this area, start at the Morth Ruins, head north past this pond, across the poison, and down to the river. This catacomb has wandering eyes that cause death buildup as well as cannon imps. Once inside, head down the stairs, then head straight across the bridge as quickly as you can to avoid contact with the death eyes. You'll need to watch out for surprise attacks, but just keep going. You'll make it to a large room where the spikes come down from the ceiling. Just use the safe spots and you'll be fine. There's an ash of war behind these enemies, but we're going to head up the ladder. Once up the ladder, head against the wall in front of you and very close to the rail. This will cause the spikes to come down. Once on top, use it to get to the other side. Inside this room, you'll find the incantation. There's also a pretty cool weapon in here at the end, so uh, might want to get that. Pest Thread Spears might be a new top 5 incantation. It shoots out many threads that act like spears. You can get this relatively easily by starting at the Church of Bud Entrance Grace and then head back into the Scarlet Rot area. Just go down the stairs and take two left turns to pick up this master class in incantations. The Divine Beast Tornado is an AoE dot attack, meaning area of effect with damage over time. To get this, I'd start at the Church of Bud Grace, then jump across to this roof and down. Run past the Divine Bird Warrior and keep to the right side where there's some broken pillars. Look down off the cliff side and jump down. The second jump will hurt. Jump across till you reach the elevator. That brings you to a new grace. Follow the steps down, watching out for the giant on the way. The bridge will eventually come to an end, and you'll need to jump off to the right side and prepare for the boss fight. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and follow for more gaming content.